Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts, right off the bat on today's show. Well, since 2015, Ford has laid out of the V8 Supercar Series, but 2019 makes their triumphant return with a brand new machine. It's the brand new Mustang for the 2019 V8 Supercar Series. This is a joint developed between the Ford Motor Company and Track Ford Racing and DGR Team Penske Racing that will be campaigning these machines coming up in Adelaide, Australia in just a handful of days. Now this particular vehicle looks a little bit weird as far as the proportion is concerned. That is because the V8 Supercar Series does run a common chassis, common roll cage arrangement, meaning every vehicle up and down the lineup actually has to run this particular chassis, so you have to make the bodywork actually fit this particular chassis. So, that's why the vehicle kind of looks a little bit weird, but one thing that really looks weird, out back, take a peek at that wing, holy mackerel, what an ungangly looking thing. That being said, I'm sure it fits the rule package, not to mention, I'm sure it does a dang good job of crowding a lot of rear downforce for this particular machine. If you'd like to see this thing make its official debut in anger, head on over to Adelaide 500 in Adelaide, Australia, coming up February 29th through, the, through March 3rd. Next up on the list, let's take a peek at the brand new Ram Multi-Function Tailgate. Now this is a situation that's much like the GMC Multi-Pro tailgate that we've talked about in this show, and you may have seen the huge advert push for that particular deal as well. It's a tailgate that basically the center section will actually roll down in a couple of different ways. And actually just a handful of days ago, I got to play with it for myself, and it actually works fairly well. It's half electric, half manual. And it's pretty intuitive. Didn't have to be shown how to actually use it to actually get the hang of it. It works really well, retractable and retracting down. The weird thing was a lot of the folks that I was surrounded by when I was checking this particular deal out thought it was a little bit gimmicky. Something that you'd possibly show your friends once or maybe use once in a lifetime and never ever use again. That being said, the brand new multi-function tailgate from the folks over at Ram is a little bit less gimmicky if you will, and a little bit more focused on user-friendly. This tailgate itself will open like a normal tailgate, will up and down, but also open side to side much like the doors do to allow a lot of easy access to things in the bed. There's also a little kick down step that is retractable underneath the rear bumper that allows easy ingress and degress out of the bed box itself. Now the difference between the Multi-Pro and the Multi-Function, the Multi-Pro is only available on higher end trim levels. The Multi-Function tailgate from Ram is available up and down the uh, rev range when it comes to the vehicles from Ram. That you can get it on an entry level machine all the way up to the top of the tree vehicle as well as an add-on option. It'll be interesting to see just how much this option is going to cost and what the take rate is going to be. This will be available from your Ram dealership later this year. And last up on the list, end up with a little bit of sad news. This is Dr. Robert Hubbard. Someone you might not know, but this guy is a definite pioneer in the world of safety inside of the racing business. Dr. Hubbard and his friend Jim Downing actually created the Hans device, the head and neck restraint system that you see up and down tons of series all over the planet. This all came to be when Jim Downing's friend actually had a basal skull fracture thanks to a racing accident. He went to Dr. Hubbard and they developed this particular head and neck restraint system. Now, oddly enough, the first time I ever saw a Hans device was actually in the monster truck business. There's a team that actually campaigns a truck called Bigfoot quite arguably the original monster truck from the folks over the Midwest four-wheel drive performance center. They were basically doing a long jump with this monster truck and found one of these Hans devices in the back of a racing magazine and ordered it up thinking it would get an extra layer of safety for the driver. The impact from the landing of this jump was so severe it actually severed one of the tenants off of the Hans device, which was something that was sent back to Dr. Hubbard and Jim Downing, and they had to redesign this a little bit more 
to effectively make this thing a lot more effective. Not to say that the driver of that particular truck might have been saved because of this particular piece of equipment. Now this really came to be whole around the whole Dale Earnhardt deal. Now this happened back in 2001, and if you were a race fan back then, you definitely got to see Dr. Robert Hubbard and Jim Downing as they were beating the drum for the Hans device up and down every series trying to make it mandatory. But you look at a lot of series now, the FIA, when you look at rallying or even Formula One, Everybody up and down the paddock wears a Hans device when it comes to the driver's compartment. It has definitely become the piece of choice for the FIA series, but there's a number of different models that you can get inside from a different, different, different manufacturers. I'd love to think how many lives the Hans device has saved and others like it over the past several years from basal skull fractures. Basal skull fracture is basically where the base of the skull separates from the spinal cord. It's not 100% fatal, but in 9 times out of 10, it is fatal. So, and I love to think that a lot of folks out there are walking around today, thanks to Dr. Hubbard and Jim Downing's vision for keeping the head and neck restraint device into racers' hands. So... Jim, or I guess I should say Robert Hubbard, Dr. Hubbard actually passed away at the age of 75. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs on the brand new show as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.